Lacrosse is a fantastic and growing sport, and as your child chooses to play the sport, some key questions arise in terms of protective. What am I going to have to go out to purchase for my child to be protected, but also enjoy the game? While the obvious assumption is a lot can be borrowed from the hockey equipment side, reality is, is hockey equipment is a lot more bulky and certainly a lot more volume. We've got Liam here to demonstrate a few of these items here. And one of the main features to start with, Liam, if you can just turn sideways, is the kidney pads. In lacrosse, you give your side for protection. And that's going to make sure that they have no exposed area from their hockey equipment. That area isn't covered. The other area we can see from Liam demonstrating is the arm guard. The arm guard has a lot more length and coverage than your traditional hockey elbow pad. Not going to give up any gaps, no exposure, so again, fully protected. In keeping with range of motion and dexterity, shoulder pads for lacrosse are very important. Hockey shoulder pads are bulky, they're cumbersome, certainly built for a different level of impact where for lacrosse range of motion is key and you're not facing as much up top. Hockey is played down here and lacrosse is played up top. And with that, the shoulder pads you can see offer a lot more range of motion. They're not as bulky and restrictive as hockey protective. Obviously, they're protecting different areas for different types of impact. Along with that, gloves. Can't mention this enough, hockey gloves shouldn't be used. Dexterity and range of motion in lacrosse gloves is a critical point of difference. Lacrosse gloves are not as bulky and cumbersome as hockey gloves. So again, dexterity, range of motion is a lot better and more efficient with lacrosse gloves. Lacrosse is an absolutely fantastic sport and you should consider putting your child in it. And at Source for Sports, we certainly have you covered. We know our stuff.